Hello, hello, and welcome back to more Tsumugu Logic. Boop. None of your busyness. Okay. Kotoko will, will convince Mirei to quit this club. I'm useless now. Right. Let's enjoy a meal tonight, then. Let's go somewhere else before Koto Kotoko and Mirei notice me. Mirei! I found you! My brother! Ikone was following Nozaki slowly. How did you get on the cruise ship? Huh? I just grabbed the ticket from the man who was about to get on before me. That's robbery. Listen, Mirei, don't take part in such an event. Nozaki took Mirei's arm. Go away! Leave me alone! Wait, Nozaki, what are you doing? This is going to be the same situation as before at the connecting stairs at the university. Hey, you. She said no. Stop it. She's my sister. A man who was close to them stopped Nozaki. However, Nozaki pushed the man's arm away. Look at you. You're not rich, but you held a big party like this. Just stop it, brother. Nozaki shouted li loudly so that everybody who was on the deck could hear him. Listen, everyone. This MF club which organizes this event is a black fraud club. You're a liar. Who said such a thing? That man told me! Nozaki pointed at me while I was hiding. Oh shit. Everyone looked at me at the same time. Tsumugu? Oh. This MF club is criminal. I heard this when my sister and this guy were talking to each other. Shit. Excuse me. Come with me. Oh god. The guy with the nameplate of staff grabbed my shoulders. Quit. Leave me. Go away. Nozaki and Hikone were also caught by the other staff members and taken somewhere. Hikone didn't do anything. Leave him alone. Oh no, 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 we, no, we need to know what happens. No, no, you're not cheating me out of a chapter. Oh my god, I'm so glad I haven't made any wrong decisions yet. Oh god. The three of us were taken to the VIP room. Oh god. There was Hayashi, happy, and a guy who looked like a host. On both sides of the sofa, there were two men who tried to look like bodyguards. Hello. We meet again. Hi. What's your name? Tsumugi. Hey, Tsumugi. Why are you sniffing us? What do you want? Out of my epistemic curiosity? After I said this, three members on the sofa started laughing. What's that? You're still young. Show me your guts like you want to use us or something like that? Are you going to pay us to shut up? Oh yeah, isn't Sumugo like a, a gang member? Good. You know what we want. So, what about you? I actually looked at Nozaki and Hikone. You can't really pay the what the fuck kind of face is that, Nozaki? Are you okay? And Hayashi noticed it was Hikone, and opened his eyes wide. Wow, it's Hikone. Long time no see, Dindo. Do you know each other? He was my classmate from high school. Wow, you haven't changed at all. Huh? Hayashi stared at Nozaki. Nozaki was shaking and sweating. I think I know you, but who are you? He's you, Nozaki. Fuck, Akira. Oh, you? Ashi got up and approached Nozaki. 
Oh my god. The person who bullied and the person who was bullied reunited. You? You lost a lot of weight. You're not a pig anymore. Y yes So, you came to stop me from making some money. N no, I- I just- My- my sister is- His way of speaking had become like Mirei's. Your sister? Mirei and Ozaki. Wow. Are you siblings? I got it. She looks like you when you were fat. Uh... Um... Ayashi. What, Sumugi? Are you still bullying someone even though you're a university student? Bullying? No, I quit that. You can't make any money. Ayashi put his arms on Nozaki's shoulder. Nozaki couldn't resist him. I thought he'd changed, though. Oh god, why are these chapters so short? I'm dying here, I need more information, it just got to be spicy!